So that's why you see studios have walls of gear. It's not because, you know, we like it. It's expensive, you know, it runs hot, electricity goes up. It's because that's the way it's done. When I first started, I started in, in, in the era in which there were still big studios with the big boards. I actually started on a giant Neve, a vintage Neve, but there's, there, there was already the computer next to us. The tape machine was off, so I didn't touch tape for you know more than a, like a week, longer than a week. So I was I started right when the transition started between full analog to hybrid to full full in the box. My first rig was hybrid already because I was working with gear in studio and at home I had my in the box rig. Because I liked analog gear, I tried to right away to collect as much gear as possible when I was working from my place and have my studio. And I got to uh, my last studio before moving here, I was running 48 channel of analog gear. A desk like this plus three side racks full of gear. 48 channel in and out of uh, conversion. Then after that, I realized that plugins and software got good enough for me to be able to cut some of that gear. And that's the, the thing, like uh, you hear both sides, you know, the people that is only in the box, they say, oh, we don't need gear because plugins are, they sound the same, you can't tell the difference. And the old school guys say, you know, you know no way, like keep dreaming, you know, the plugins will never sound like like gear. The truth is they sound just as good. They're not the same thing. They will, they will never be the same thing. It doesn't matter that they are worse. It's just a different, it's just a different sound. What's important is can you mix a record with plugins? Yes, you can. The truth is analog still has something that plugins cannot do. But at the same thing, there are some plugins, most plugins, that do things that hardware will never do. Some automation and some very precise moves that you can only do with plugins. Even just the effects that the plugins can, can get crazy effects that there's no hardware for that and, and it's so easy to use them and they definitely cost less than hardware. I'm, I'm running, yeah, on a hybrid system in which I use 50% plug-in, 50% of, of analog and I think it's the best of both worlds. Personally, because maybe I started with hardware, I get the sounds that I want faster with hardware. It doesn't mean that I would never be able to get it with plugins, but it would take me a day longer. And a day longer when you're a professional mix engineer, makes the client get pissed. You know, you can mix 200 songs a year instead of 300, so you make less money. It's just a matter of math. Um, so yeah, I'm still faster with, uh, with hardware. You, when you have your gear and you picked and your gear uh, carefully, you have some reference point. I don't even need to listen if the bass is right. I look at my distressor and how much you know the compression is, and I know that we are there. I look at my two bus and I know my gain staging is right. I don't need to listen to it. I see where the levels are because I've mixed a gazillion songs with them. I know where they have to hit to sound right. It's funny because when I had, like last time, uh, when I had like four distressor, people always ask me like, why you need so many? People who work in the box don't understand. This is an important part of hybrid mixing and analog. Uh, they, they, they think like, oh, you have one distress and if you want to run vocals, bass and whatever, you just print it. That's hell. <laughs> For a mix engineer, that's hell. That's not how you mix with analog. Uh, we need two, three, four of that unit because when we mix hybrid, all the elements that need that specific compressor, they need to run at the same time. So if you want to distress on a vocal and one on a bass, you need to buy two. And if you want to use them on the next song without changing the settings and switching from one song to the other, you need another two. <laughs> so that's why you see studios have walls of gear. It's not because you know we like it. It's expensive. You know it runs hot. Electricity goes up. It's because that's the way it's done. You need to mix and mix and make adjustment as the mix is open and everything is playing. You can't mix one element in solo and then stick it to your mix. It doesn't work that way.